cool. By the way, when I was asked to do this, I was so excited about it. Because TJ knows that it. I have like 70,000 uh, yeah. cat photos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm WWE superstar Natalia. And I'm WWE superstar slash producer Tyson Kidd. And we are here with Cricket Wireless. Are you ready to see what the hell is on our cell? Uh oh. <laughs> The oldest picture that I have in my phone is from November. No, of us. Of each other. Of us. It's a picture. Hold on. Show, show everyone. It's a show. selfie. This is a picture of us, according to Natalia. <laughs> That's us. According to Natalia, this is us, which is very accurate. Okay, very, I was very, a selfie. very accurate. I was taking a selfie backstage. Let me see the first picture of us on my phone. My phone yeah. got wiped at the beginning of this oh pandemic. This one of us? I'm looking for us. This, this is my first. This is this is not our like this is not one of our first pictures. This is one of the first ones in my phone. It's from. This is from like, I have a messed up. This is from like the summer of like 2016. Okay. This is this is the one I have. I love that. This one is of my dad, TJ, and I, and that is the first photo of. Us in my phone, which is great. It's a pretty good one. I don't know if it, I don't know if it topped that first one. It's a picture like of us, but it, it was after my dad passed away, so I must have saved it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome, and it's on my patio with my Naomi shirt on. And TJ's wearing a Naomi shirt. Feel the glow. <laughs> the best phone call I ever received was January seventh, two thousand seven. And that was when I got called by John Laurinaitis. He called me to let me know that he was offering me a WWE contract. And I, I to this day, remember exactly where I was, exactly what I was doing, and I just was so excited. I, it was like the best phone call ever. I guess to be a little different, even though it'll be in the same, would probably be when I got the phone call that I was being called up to the main roster, to ECW. Um, it was a, it was a female writer named Jen Bloodsworth, Jen Bloodsworth. And uh, Kidman had kind of, Kidman was on the road at the time and he came into FCW and had kind of told me that there, uh, there was an idea in the meeting of myself and uh, being called up with um, Natty as my manager. That was an amazing phone call. That phone call literally changed my, I mean, and obviously the one getting signed too, they, they've changed my life forever. So the great Kali, taught me how to take a selfie and he said to me, and this stuck with me, and I've passed this knowledge along to all the other women in the locker room, never take a selfie underneath a fluorescent light and never take a selfie unless the light is coming at you. <laughs> because a bad selfie can ruin your day. Smile, Teach, sit up a little bit, laugh. Give me a laugh. <laughs> that was a very real laugh. So I always feel too that like bringing that energy, that smile is always good because a smile can be an instant facelift. TJ likes to mope and sulk in his selfies. No, that's not true. So actually, funny enough, most of mine are like post-workout and I hate how my face looks in it. So I crop it out. So there's no, a lot of most of my selfies, no, no face. You know, one that was, that's really cool that I have and he's a good friend of mine is Billy Corgan. Um, if you're into music and you like the Smashing Pumpkins, and he was like a very influential person in alternative music. He wrote tons of songs, not just for himself, but for like so many other musicians and movies. But he's um, been a friend of mine since 2006, so close friend. So he is a cool contact in my phone. I think maybe, I guess, Cody Garbrandt, former UFC bantamweight champion. I was there the night that he, that he won the title from Dominic Cruz. I'd met him previously um, in, in Cleveland at a, at a UFC event. He'd recognized me from Total Divas but didn't want to make a scene in this VIP room, which is very funny, like this guy's getting ready to fight for the, for the world title. And uh, here he is DMing me and then he like, was saying like, that he really, he's hoping I'd be at his next fight. And then so I, I went, it was in Vegas um, before New Year's. It was awesome. So if I'm thinking about texts and people that I text back and forth with and that I can't live without, besides you, 
I love getting texts from Carmela and Beth Phoenix. We always just have funny conversations. We send each other funny gifts. It's just funny. Uh, Kurt Hawkins is somebody we're, we've been very good friends. He was um, like real cool to me on my tryout, and it's something that I never forgot about. Same with guys like Kofi Kingston. But uh, Kurt Hawkins and I, Brian Myers, we're in like, I, we're in, we might be in like 10 different group chats, and then once in a while when I get a text from him outside of it, I know it's like, something so different if it can't be within like the walls of these 10 different group chats we're in. So, uh, but, but there's not a single day that goes by that there's not a text exchange of some sort between us. Oh God, this is so easy. Angelo Dawkins, this has been going on right now. Angelo Dawkins and I have been going back and forth a lot about basketball. I think people don't realize how much I know about basketball or how into basketball I am. I'm horrible at trash talking, but if I was gonna pick somebody that I do really good trash talking with, it's definitely my trash talking with Tyson. This is what's kept our marriage going. When I'm right, I'm right, and when I'm wrong, I'm still right. So the last note that I have in my phone is a massive to-do list. And it's pretty crazy. I'm one of those people that has to have a lot of reminders. Dentist, 12 p.m. Workout at night, wrestling practice, organize new home. Oh God, I can't say that one out loud. Tyson's surprise party. Oh, so did everyone just catch that? It was, she said, I can't say that one out loud. <laughs> Pause. And then went on, proceeded to say that one out loud. My most recent note is um, I write my match ideas in my notes, so that'd be my most recent, would be Hell in the Cell. I have so many different voices I use. If it's a telemarketer and I'm pissed off, and I know it's a telemarketer calling me about something that has nothing to do with me, it depends on like how I want to approach it. Sometimes I'll put on a fake voice, like of another person that's like Natalie Neidhart's secretary. She's not in right now, she's in Peru. I get an urge to answer like a scam call. But I, I, when I answer like a call that I don't know, I just answer it really abruptly, be like, hello? Yeah? No, Fedor, he's gone. All right. Well, Ooh. I have five cats. We have five cats and they're extremely spoiled and I have over 70,000 photos in my phone of my cats. I know that's an issue because I've lost and run out. Like I literally don't have any storage left, but if I was to filter out the favorite photos, it would, pr I mean, it has to be hands down of my cat, two paws. I have a lot of great shoot, shoot, pictures shoot. of my cats. While you're looking for that, I'm gonna show everybody this. Two paws and the tag team championship. It's like picture perfect lockup. This is like as good as it gets. Like if this had happened, on the headset, I'd be hearing a lot of praise right now. Wow. Which one do you use the most? What do I think you use the most? I'm gonna go with a heart. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. you got a match. You got it right. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I don't know, maybe kind of wrong, don't know. Maybe. Yes. Maybe, but I like yeah. the crooked one is the thing. That's sideways one. Oh. You're, you just put the old we'll shoot. Natty, we'll give you half a point. Half, Thank yes. Just like one to one and a half, let's go. Ha ha or the emoji. Ha ha or the emoji. Can I write it down? I think ha ha is more than the emoji, I think. Could be wrong. It would be the emoji. It's over. Don't talk to me. Yeah, because you can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if I'm getting a text at 3 o'clock in the morning from... If I'm getting a text at 3 o'clock in the morning from Beth Phoenix, I need to know what is going on, and I need to let her know that I'm there for her. So yes, the screen time is going to be high, because I'm making sure everybody's good. How many alarms are set on TJ's phone? One. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the right answer. Yep, one. Yeah, one. Get up in the morning alarm. I'm gonna guess for, for real 20. We'll, we'll go by like the price is right rules so I don't over, if I go over, I'm out. Oh. This many alarms. Uh, you, may, you may have thought I was just kidding around. I'm not, not at all kidding around. Oh my God, one, 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, well, thirteen, fourteen, seven, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, AM. seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's my twenty. One, two, three, four, five, forty. One, two, <laughs> three, forty-four. I know. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm gonna write it. Don't say it until I write it. Yeah. Then you hold it up. Then I'll. Pause for five seconds for dramatic effect, and I will tell the world. So don't look. Let's I'm go not that. looking. Okay. Okay. Instagram. That was actually that was close. It was close, but actually it's WhatsApp. This has been Tyson Kidd and Natalia with WWE and Cricket, and this is what the hell is on our cell. Give a thumbs up and subscribe below for more episodes of What the Hell's on Your Cell.